Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Can I also congratulate the Prime Minister on her appointment? Mr. Speaker, inflation is at a 40 year high. The NHS is on its knees with 6.6 million people waiting for treatment. Thousands of victims of sexual offences and violent crime are waiting for justice, not to mention passport delays, a summer of chaos in our airports, and our beaches covered in sewage. The Prime Minister has served in every one of the Conservative governments responsible for this mess. So why should the British public trust her to clean up the mess that she's helped create? I'm determined that we deal with the issues facing us as a nation. We do have problems with our energy supply due to the appalling war being perpetrated by Putin in Ukraine. That is why I will take immediate action to deal with the energy crisis. My Chancellor will take immediate action to reduce taxes and make sure we are growing our economy. And our new Health Secretary, who is also the Deputy Prime Minister, will be taking immediate action to make sure people are able to get appointments with their GP and proper NHS services.